What's going on everybody, it's Game Unboxing Reviews here and welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga news update. So by now you've probably all seen the recently released stunning new box art for the game, but what you may not know about is that some additional new and very exciting details have also been released, and I'm going to be talking all about them in this video. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so first off let's talk about some of the newly revealed levels, starting with Episode 8, The Last Jedi, because it's seemingly now being confirmed by Craig Derrick, who is of course the managing producer at Lucasfilm Games, that Rey and Kylo Ren's fight with the Praetorian Guards in Supreme Leader Snoke's throne room will be a playable section in this game, which was fairly obvious to begin with anyway, but it is always nice to get an official confirmation. Craig Derrick has also revealed that there is a subtle moment during Luke Skywalker's duel against Kylo Ren on the Battle of Crate, which we of course got a glimpse of in the game's countdown trailer that was released last December, and Derrick has simply stated that the moment is so funny yet totally in character and I for one cannot wait to see it. Lastly for levels we need to talk about episode 9 the rise of Skywalker because believe it or not but Craig Derrick has also revealed that they were developing the game content and script at the same time that episode 9 was in development which of course allowed some members of the team to get an early peek at the film's production visual development and script so they knew very early on that this film was going to be huge with big sets lots of characters Characters, and of course the return of Emperor Palpatine. Now Jonathan Smith who is the head of production and strategic director at TT Games has also teased that episode 9's climactic all back assault is a particular highlight in this game. In addition to this Derek has also confirmed that voice acting will still feature in this game stating that the voice talent that is involved delivers some fantastic performances. And last but most certainly not least the final thing that we need to talk about is of course characters. So Craig Derek has confirmed that there are nearly 500 hundred characters in this game, many of which will be playable, because when choosing characters for a game this large, they just looked at every film in the Skywalker saga and tried to say yes to as much as possible. But of course it also comes down to storytelling and the specific role of the characters in the quests and game progression. Craig Derrick has also teased that almost everyone's favourite heroes and villains from the films, many background players and a few surprise characters will be playable in this game, including Admiral Akbar, Zori Bliss from The Rise of Skywalker, and The Phantom Menace's very own background character, Yaddle, which gives me hope that maybe, just maybe, Yarrow Poof might also be a playable character in this game. But of course, we will just have to wait and see. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this video, so I want to thank you all very much for watching, stay tuned for lots more videos real soon, and if you'd like to stay up to date with the latest news on LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, then please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.